Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome along to Deliver Hope Ministry. And hopefully you're well and blessed today. And today is Wednesday, and we're kind of closer to uh, Christmas Day. So um, I presume it's crazy mad in your house, just like it's mad in my house at the moment. Uh, we're busy wrapping the presents, so I've managed to escape for... Well, a good five, ten minutes out of the house. Um, you know, because I can't really get to the computer or anything else today. It is absolutely just full of presents and everything. But isn't that beautiful that, that, that Christmas we get to show our love, our affection to our families, to our friends, even to our neighbours. You know, the greatest gift that we've ever been given was Jesus Christ. I mean, Christmas we celebrate that fact that Jesus was born and that Jesus had come into the world as a rescue package to rescue you and me from ourselves, from that crazy, mad, sinful life that we live. That life that is full of destruction, tears, full of heartache. You know, we, we're born into it. We aren't taught to be sinful. It's just something that's in our DNA. And it goes all the way back to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And that's where it goes back to. But you know what? God loves us so much. He doesn't want to see any of us have to perish, have to pay that debt in full. That debt of the wages of sin. I know he loves us so much that he sent us a rescue package over 2,000 years ago. Now this morning I was looking at a passage uh, from John 13 verse 34. And it's talking about a new commandment. A new commandment that Jesus had given to his disciples before he ascended to heaven. Now in that new commandment, he was talking about love each other as I have loved you. You know, love your neighbor and love your enemies as I have loved you too. Now the greatest gift we can give at Christmas is that love, is that compassion, and is to think and love every single person as if they are part of our family. You know, just like Jesus loved his disciples and he loved every single one of us because Jesus went to the cross and died on the cross because of his love for every single one of us. In spite of who we are and in spite of what direction we may have gone on, what direction we are on, Jesus died upon that cross. He was buried in the tomb and risen on the third day. You know, through Jesus' death and resurrection, through that amazing love, that he shows for every single one of us. You know, we are given eternal life, salvation, a new start and a new direction, a new journey and a new adventure. That's what the word Advent means. When we're opening our Advent calendars, we're opening up each day to the start of that new journey, to the start of that new beginning, that new birth and the keys to the kingdom of God. You know, Jesus died so we, every single one of us, could have that. But the most important commandment that Jesus ever gave us was to love each other as I have loved you. You know, and love your neighbor as I have loved you. As you would love yourself, love your neighbor and love your enemies as well. And I know that, you know, in my time, I probably made a lot of enemies in my time. But you know what? Before I, Jesus found me, you know what? I was full of hate, I was full of pain, I was full of jealousy. You know, I wanted to do harm to people. I had enemies, people that I would love to have made their lives a misery. But you know what? When Jesus comes into our lives, when we accept Jesus for who he is, God's son, and we accept for what he did for every single one of us, by dying upon that cross for our sins, Jesus changes us from the inside out. You know, we are given a life full of abundancy and purpose, a new direction and a new journey. So today's thought of the day is love each other. Love each other. Keep to the new commandment that Jesus gave to his disciples that we all should follow. And we should all do this Christmas. Show love to every single person. Okay, I'm going to be back again probably tomorrow with another one. So until then, sorry I'm out of breath, been walking uphill <laughs> till tomorrow. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord protect you. May you have the most amazing day and build up to that amazing 
amazing day of Christmas Day when we celebrate Jesus' uh, Jesus birth and his rescue package for every single one of us. So I'm going to say a quick prayer and then we'll finish up. So Heavenly Father, thank you for the, the last moments that we spent learning more about your new commandment of love each other as I have loved you. And Jesus, thank you for the love that you showed to every single one of us, that you sacrificed yourself upon that cross to pay for our depressions, our anxieties, to pay for our addictions and our hurt and pain in our lives. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for us, for dying for our sins. And thank you, Heavenly Father, for raising Jesus up from the dead so that we too can have salvation, hope and love and peace and a new life of abundancy and purpose through Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saying that you are the truth, the way and the life. We pray for our listeners, our watchers this morning. We pray that you bless them, that you protect them, that you bring down your love and grace upon them and that they have a most amazing Christmas. We ask this in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'll be back again tomorrow. We'll speak then. God bless you. God protect you. Love you all.